Are you curling your tongue too? You like are. Menos, Menos uno. uno. Oh, Menos two. How many? You have to move three. The, French, you three the French reaction. I'm going to try from Madagascar. Yeah, you'll try. I wrote two. From which direction? From here. Okay, two. She does. She beat you two on one, then you. Win. Bread is a bread. Bread, yeah. You are? Yeah. Good Whoa. job, honey. I think we did a good job. Yep. It's all buttered up. Grandpa got a new grandbaby today. Oh, what's that? Yeah. See if you can cut your hole. And Miss Zoe's sleeping. See, Probably the best thing for her. She needs to sleep and wake up in a strange environment. And you got this job of love sitting with your grandma. All smiley. Cora, what are they doing? Are they making a snowman? Bigger. Mine is Natalie, what are you making over there? A snow angel. I'm trying to save this snow yesterday for Aunt Leanne's even out here. And Cora seems to be sleeping under the tree. Snowman's name. It, it's, its name is Princess Daisy. Princess Daisy. That's a very fem feminine name for such a masculine snowman. Princess Daisy, huh? Yeah. You did it. You made a huge snowman. Leave it. Leave it.
You guys, you guys are playing bubbles. And then remember, you dip in the big end. Oh, wait, no, the small end. You're right. You're right. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Now dip the small end. Yes. Okay. Christmas Eve 2013! Look at the excitement around here! They're just bouncing off the walls! Natalie, who's coming in a few hours? Who's coming for you? Have you been good this year? Yeah! Yeah! Have you been good this year for Santa Claus? I was up here now, Portland. I've heard your name switch the list several times. I'm creepy. Leanne just barely got off the naughty list. She did get off. Yeah, Le Leanne's been there all year. And Derek's been on the good list. Oh, good. Oh, good. How to work. This one. They have a black list, and this is the one where she goes. Because she didn't get me a Mercedes Benz this year. I did. You can drive it with your finger. Cameron and there's all of a sudden looks like Santa already came. Yum, Brian. Yeah. 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 Michelle, how do you feel yeah. not being near the Evil Knievel jump site? I, I don't think it has targets. So. You might have missed the boat no, with it. I don't know. It does have a target. It does have a target. In about a oh, mile radius. How about Sam's school? No, but we have a toast. I want to offer a toast to Mr. Mr. somebody else. Natalie, your plate, please. I want to remember my mother while my mother. Oh, that's to Mary and Elizabeth. Let's give you some food. Emily, where's your place? Is that Can you get you? To Chris. I killed my father by dedicating <laughs> one to Christian. I like I would have to you to the ER and we can work tonight. Leanne, how do you feel having your boyfriend be discussed at a, in a toast? I feel honored. Can I help you? I don't know what more to say. She can't, can't, he can't find a better family than oh, this. Can't say anything. This is a good one, huh? Christmas Eve dinner. It's a, it's a German guy. People like, enjoying the feast. Oh, party. Yeah, the, <laughs> the party blooper. He does that. Okay. okay. May the fish he eats to Peter. Like to Elder Clark. To Haka. Elder Clark. We miss you, Peter. Mexico. Oh, we forgot to do one for Peter. What about the catfish? Clam. To my my catfish boat, they're finally gonna to get me someday. Boat. <laughs> it's probably very comforting for them to be with each other. Some water. 
Do you want some water? This is Zoe. How old is Zoe? She's scared six anymore. Weeks. Six November weeks. Is seven weeks. Seven, <gasps> seven, seven weeks old is your first sniff in our gift. She likes those secret hideout spaces. So no weewees. <laughs> Brian cleaned it up. We are here. Oh, oh so my cute. gosh. You still have this here, you know? Oh, this is squishy. Squishy? You look like a pregnant little dog. What? All that hair. What, does what are you doing? Is that a present? This is a I totally agree. This is Here, put, it, put it down. Good. What's Cameron hey, doing? Cameron, are you shaking them off? <laughs> Where did Zoe go? Where's Where did Annabelle? Look at all these. I'm sure there's one under there for Cameron. <laughs> Kellen, is this your first program? It's your first Christmas program. How do you feel? You feel that good? I'm glad. She uh, will. Give that to the doggy. She's scared. She might be able to fit right here. Oh, are you tasting the program? Does that taste good? Okay, let's go ahead and start. Michelle says you can see. Come on, how many presents are there? Oh, I'm not ready. Yeah. Well, we need people to sit down. Take the glass. We're good. Sitting maybe asking too much. Can I show you Tommy? Tommy, 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 Tommy
And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Okay. Brian's playing a solo doing? right now. Oh, I am. Yeah, his joy to the world, and then we're going to sing. Okay. Oh, well, I've got to let you go. We have heard on high. Kevin, come, come here, handsome. Mm -hmm. You can come snuggle with me. You want to play with a dog? Come here, come snuggle with me. She's been kidding me. How about your night night? Come to the pool with your night night. Okay. I don't think that's what he's worried about. No. <laughs> he's got a foot. It could be a rather unusual solo. Yeah, you, uh, it might be a duet. <laughs> <laughs> a duet. You're going to help me, buddy? <laughs> I need your help. Okay. Because I don't. Okay. Because I really miss an Uncle Brian. Sure, Mom.
Now we're gonna hear from angels on high, huh? No, there's there's not there's uh scriptures missing. It's not a joke. Where's the doggy? And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone around about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling and clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a, with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. And it came to pass that the angels were gone away from them into heaven. The shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even into Bethlehem and see this thing which is in the past, which the Lord hath made known unto us. Okay, now we're going to sing Angels We Have Heard on High, and we'll hear a musical number from Michelle and Emily. What number two or three? Two or three. <laughs> two or three. Nice. 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 Take a chair. Where have you been? Emily, she's been sitting on Derek's lap. She has lap. pressure yeah. coming. Oh.
magnifique! I couldn't even sing it because I started crying. Did you hear the poise in her voice? I know. So we'll have, we'll be reading, awesome. so we'll read Luke 2, 15 through 21, and then Brian and Derek are going to sing. And then um, we have it. something that Uncle Peter wants us to read. <laughs> I think you're threatening him. You know it! Here, do you want to read 15 to 21? Okay. Luke 2, 15 through 21. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph, and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things, and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, as it was told unto them. Oh, is that? Sure. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay, but we got another one going on. We get to hear another world class performance. We brought in talent. <laughs> this is what Pleasant Grove talent? Alpine, isn't it? Alpine. No, it's Pleasant Pleasant Grove. Doesn't get better. PG Viking. <laughs>
tonight wrote a letter um so leanne's gonna read one from peter and then nathan nicole sent a letter all righty this letter's from uncle peter Albert clark okay my family what i want for christmas more than anything this year if you feel close to my family it seems near impossible to me being that in the middle of nowhere I want me to write my family a letter this Christmas to express my love for all of you and my very feel sense of closeness in this season. Christmas has always brought me some, some of the best memories of my life. It's always been a, a time to grow clo closer together as a family through sugar cookies, snowball fight, sharing memories, and yes, inside jokes to last a lifetime. I am truly going to miss all of this. I know that I have a greater purpose here, but sometimes it is hard to miss out on so many treasured me memories. But I also know that we have a eternity of fond memories and happiness that lies ahead if we remain faithful to the end. What is it about Christmas that we love so much? It's, it is the same movie, song, celebration, sugar cookie, etc. year after year. What is it this time of the year that seems to enliven our heart and give us hope? I feel that we are all like a life man of old, of old following the same star, seeking peace, joy, and light in a darkened world. Maybe this is why everyone loves Christmas, Christmas so much, because we are illuminated by the light of Christ, which fills our heart with joy. I wish for my family this year to strive to always remember the babe in Bethlehem and continue to follow the stars and offer the child's gift, just as those of old, not, but not a gift of gold, frankincense, or myrrh, but of charity, kindness, long-suffering, and love. I can testify to all of you that Jesus Christ lived. He came just as a prophet of old, that he would, he would. He loved us all and gave us everything to allow us to live again. He has compassion on us. He has always been by our side during some, some of the darkest times of my life. He carried me ever forward. I hope that we can always remember this remarkable man and come unto him and never leave. I love you all very much and been blessed exceedingly beyond what I could ever deserve with a wonderful family. I wish you for each other dog from Gallon Home, Pop, Pupil, Mexico, and Gabby. You even lost it. Me llamo. Que sean bendecidos en esta época de Navidad, Deña y las felicidades esté con ustedes siempre. Muy bien. And what does it say? May you be blessed in this special Christmas season. Here's a letter from Nathan Nicole. Oh, here's a letter. This one is. Very long. Um, it's called This Feeling. This okay. Feeling comes several times a year where we wish we had you all right here to eat and sing and to have a ball, to have to, ha to, have to settle for just a phone call. We long for your smiles and stories too, repetitions of old and creations of new. We miss all the games and going for a walk. We miss sitting around and just getting to talk. We know you are gathered this Christmas Eve to read and sing and bear testimony. <laughs> And so for our contribution this year, we'd like for our, for our love to hear. We want you to know that although we seem lazy, you are all in our thoughts and we miss you like crazy. Your struggles and longings are in all our prayers and we wish we could tend to, tend to all your cares. We wish we could heal every wound and hurt feeling 
and therefore we often find ourselves kneeling, asking the only true source of hope and pe of peace and hope to heal your pains and to help you cope. We, we know that Christ is the only one who can calm our fears and make us brand new. Our Christmas wish, you sh should you care to know, is to constantly improve and to continue to grow. For our lives to become the sources of light that will guide others through their darkest night. That we will indeed become our Savior's hands and for truth and freedom always take a stand. We pray that our hearts will ever turn to the one true source that will make them yearn to be like him and to live each day as if Christ himself were leading our way. Our prayer is that, is that with each passing hour we can be each be guided by his power to know how to act and just what to say, to know how to behave in a Christ-like way. We hope that as the years go by, we will ever turn to our Father on high and so become with one with him, you and him and never let our light, lights grow dim. We pray you each can feel our love and know that he hears you from above. Even though we may not be there, we hope you know how deeply we care. This feeling is the strongest this time of year We, we long when we long to have our family near. Written by Nicole. Wow, that's nice. With no baby in this one. That's what I thought it was going to be. I know. <laughs> I thought for sure that's, a, that's for sure what I thought it would be. When I saw her at Thanksgiving. Too many assumptions. Well, she did tell me at Thanksgiving that she was a baby. Um, well, I so we have one last thing. We're going to sing Silent Night Closed Program. And, um,. Mostly is nursing at the moment. It's uh, here to we say all the verses or the last one. <laughs> <verses? laughs> Where are we? <laughs> we keep it on your toes and then we're not ever done. Um, does everybody know all the verses to this one? Let's do the first three. Let's do the three. Uh, we'll all sing together, but you guys do the first, we'll do the second, and we'll do the third. We'll all sing at the same time. Yeah. No. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I thought this was going to be theater and around. Silent night. Oh, hey, Grandma. Oh, I'm a nutcracker. Yeah, she never showed up. Oh, 
<laughs> you never throw a box in a row. What's mine? What's made mine? underwear for everyone. What's mine? <laughs> Hang on, we'll find out tomorrow. We'll find out what's yours tomorrow. Mama! Is that cool? Everyone just said that. Yeah, where's mine? Where's mine? So cute. Okay. He said, where's mine? It was so cute. In his and the nutcracker! Bring it over to Grandpa. Uh, Take it over to Grandpa. Yeah. 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 Ye
How did they know I was from the water? Oh, hey, don't you touch my sock. Okay. Open. I don't want your sock. That's my pair of socks. Thank priceless. you. Open your gift. This is only a pre prelude to my Mercedes that's coming tomorrow. Do you want to help? Yeah. You guys help me. You want to take it I think your Christmas car is out in the garage. That one I, I paid for. Yeah, she just replaced the rear view mirror. I already had a rear view mirror. Can keep going, there's more there. Keep going. Oh, I want to keep the bow. Yeah. All right, you guys want to help? Isn't that so fun? Oh, you want to help you? There's some other big bows like that on my other gifts. Oh, wow. Are those scotch glasses? No. No. They're crystal glasses. <laughs> Number six. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you left yeah. underneath my car. Can Cora help you? Natalie. 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 Nat
Yeah, she, Cameron, look what these pajamas are. The dinosaur pajamas. She's going to keep getting caught on the shirt. She gets pajamas every year. We love them. Oh, is that for me? I don't hear so. That's for me. Is there a little tin box about this size for me? I tried to cry. I was kind of frozen pajamas. And they didn't have sandwich sizes. Oh, that's good. Try from this side. Open it. No, I love that gift that year. I got you. Oh, my God. 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 Oh
Time to get a watch! Oh!